Good morning. Good morning. My name is Ralph Friedrichs. I am an author, an addiction recovery coach, a life coach, the host of this show, the Take Your Life Back Today radio show. You can see a video version of this if you go to YouTube under our channel, Take Your Life Back Today show. This is an article, a front page newspaper uh, from 2018, From Booze to Book Writing. Friedrich Beats Alcoholism Becomes YouTube Sensation Author and Life Coach. Back in 2013, Dinwiddie County resident Ralph Friedrichs finally took his life back from decades of alcoholism and created a new life dedicated to helping other people. Now, I am Ralph Friedrichs. Born and raised in Germany until he was alive, Ralph Friedrichs was brought up. Alcohol was the norm. He recalled his grandmother, who took care of him, worked at a store where her job was to hand out tester shots of liquor. So she had to babysit me under the table, he says, and she'd hand me the shots at the age of, I don't know, I forget, but maybe one, two, three, or any time around that. And she was doing that uh, for a reason, and that was to get me to fall asleep. It'd be easy to babysit me. So there was uh, no harm intended on her end, and I don't think... Um, uh, because in Germany, alcohol is totally different than here. It is the norm over there for even children to have some sort of alcohol. But I think that's where it kicked in. The alcoholism beso uh, besides genetics, he added. Friedrichs considers himself to have been an alcoholic, but as he got older, it only became worse. He constantly binge drank to forget all the pain, depression, and unforgiveness that resulted from his upbringing. He never had energy or an appetite, and he'd spend days with his head in the toilet, oftentimes unable to make it to work. Then, one day in 2013, Friedrichs hit his absolute bottom. Working in Manhattan at the time, he came home uh, inebriated uh, off uh, maybe about 10 shots of vodka, and his wife wouldn't even let him in the house. She said, the dogs are sleeping out there. Guess what? I ended up out there. You hear jokes about being in the doghouse. I literally was there, Ralph said. Not just an hour or two, but for a day and a half. And you know what? Like in, uh, the epiphany from God that came down, God was like, you're getting ready to lose everything, including your life. You're going to lose your wife. You're going to lose your daughters. You're going to lose your family. He didn't say it in those words, but I felt he was saying that to my heart. Friedrichs knew he was close to death and that he needed to make a decision. And that decision needed to be made fast. I knew I was going to die, he says, because I was very close to it. I could feel it. I knew I was in bad shape, he said. So I was sitting there weighing my options and there was no competition anymore. At that point... And almost uh, like dropping uh, to your knees and saying, God, take me, help me. And that was the turning point in my life, my friends. You see, in that moment, without ever having to attend rehab, Friedrich quit drinking, period. He said it was because I said to myself, I cannot go on any further. And it sounds strange. A lot of people won't believe that when I tell them that. But I was able to do it. I was able to do it without help, except for the help of God. It is then, at one point back in 2013, Friedrichs decided to attend AA. And he made only two of those meetings because he felt it wasn't working for him. It wasn't part of his recovery that he needed. But he realized it wouldn't be able to successfully recover in a in a AA format. It was then I went to AA three more times, and uh, you just kind of everybody sits there and has coffee, and everybody just wants to talk about how their week went, and and I appreciate all that, but it wasn't enough for me that hour and a half a day. When I started doing videos, I decided, I said to myself, this isn't going to work for someone to drink heavily. And that's when I decided to do my videos. I need to come up with something 24-7 that's going to keep me in check, he added. I said to myself, I've got to come up with some sort of method to help me 
And what better benefit to help than to have people who rely on you? And what better way to get people to rely on you uh, than uh, if you expose yourself? That's when Friedrichs decided to create a blog where he would write his daily thoughts and show how transparent he has become about his life experiences and struggling with alcohol and addiction. He found that being candid about everything he had been through was therapeutic for him. I believe in transparency gives you transformity. One leads into the other, he says. Friedrich's blog was getting a lot of attention as emails piled in com complimenting his work and thanking him for his vulnerability. It wasn't long before his readers were asking him if he would go on. I was getting all the emails from people saying, hey, this is great stuff you're putting in this blog about your life. Um, but can you also maybe do a video version of that? So I got these emails. Somebody said to me, listen, can you just get behind that camera for us one time? That's when Friedrichs created a YouTube channel, which he named the Take Your Life Back Today show with Ralph Friedrichs, of course. He began filming and uploading at least one video each and every day, sometimes two or three. That was in 2013. Uh, here's an update, 2000, 2021. I've been doing it since then with over 6,000 videos. That show is my rehab. I have a study each and every day to do these shows. If I talk about depression, I have to get the knowledge somewhere to talk about that. So I go to Mayo Clinic and I study their material for that topic, depression, like a reporter, absorb it like a sponge and expose it to my audience. So now this has been my rehab from 2013 to 2022, uh, going to be 22. I'm learning all these things about alcohol and drugs and depression that keeps me on the up and up, something AA just couldn't do for me. I know for a fact that I would have. Uh, if I would have had one ounce of liquor, I would have let down at that time only 900 some thousand people that watched me. Of course, it's much stronger now. And today, Friedrichs says he created the YouTube channel to provide rehab for himself as researching, compiling the information, and then filming and uploading the videos have become. To make it a knowledge panel for the folks that are out there that need to hear his message. But he wasn't aware of the drastic impact his videos would have on others from all over the world who are going through similar situations. Thousands and thousands. So now, this is in 2013, he was only in 45 mm -hmm. rehab centers. Now he's all over the United States uh, and Europe. My biggest audience is Alaska, of course, probably because I worked up there for many years in the village of the Arctic Circle and, of course, Asia, uh, because I uh, my boss came from there. His videos now have over uh, 950 different views in different areas. 950,000 views, I should say. It's a point where I miss one video in one day and people may be thinking I fell off the wagon. So uh, you you. If you miss a day, people are writing, are you okay? And I do need a break from things to do every once in a while, I tell people. Friedrich's show now has about, uh, but this is 2013, 2,600 videos. It now has over 6,000 in two, uh, 2021. And he continues to post one every single day. The show's popularity has even landing Friedrich's on several impressive why widely viewed talk shows, including six appearances on Time Warner and five different shows in Manhattan. He was also interviewed on A Name to Know, which skyrocketed his YouTube audience and bookings for his speeches. So I could go on and on about this, but I want to update you folks now. In 2021, since this article came out, we have over 6,000 videos. We have over 600 podcast episodes. We have one a presidential service award, and uh, we have written seven books. That is what happens when you stick to doing things and you move forward, knowing that one day, just one day, if you only help one person out of thousands that listen to you, you have succeeded to making a difference in the world.
Give me a call, 844-405-HELP. Together, you and I, we can help each other, take our lives back, be good to yourselves, always be good to each other. And remember, a simple smile to anyone can make a difference in their life and it can make a difference in your life. Folks, remember that God truly loves you and he will always, always be there to help you in life. Have a great day and a great life with Jesus Christ.